doesn't it seem like every time you turn on the news it just gets more and more ridiculous today is no exception. The administrators at an Indiana school dealt a devastating blow to the safety of their students when they refused to let an Army veteran stand guard with an R-15 after the Parkland shooting with left 17 people dead on Valentine's Day. Mark Cowan, who is also an Oath Keeper, decided to go stand guard, free of charge, at the Northside High School in Fort Wayne in order to stop any copycat type of against the students. But instead of the school welcoming him, as they should, they told him to leave. In an interview, Cowan explained that these children and students mean a lot to him, and to this community. He added that since law enforcement can't be everywhere at the same time he decided to get himself off the couch and do something about it. He also made it very clear that he had been in touch with local law enforcement and the school and let them know of his intentions before showing up but still, the school made him leave and told him they don't need his help. Now, this is what I don't understand. People don't want to arm teachers nor do they want to have armed security in our schools, even if that security is a veteran who is doing it for free. Instead, they claim the only way to protect our children is to disarm law-abiding gun owners like you and me does that sound logical to you how about we hire all those veterans we have who can't find work and aren't suffering from PTSD and put them to work to protect our children if armed guards are good enough for celebrities and our money, why isn't it good enough for our children can anyone explain that to me via Washington Examiner, the nation's 10th largest school system this week will be urged to consider revamping security in the wake of last week's Florida school shooting rampage to include adding more armed protection in all schools. Are our kids important enough to protect in the same way we guard money in a bank? Asked Elizabeth Schultz, a member of the Fairfax County, Virginia School Board. CPAC backs NRA, arming teachers after Parkland shooting. It's time to have an honest discussion, she told Secrets. The largest school boards in the nation have to lead, added Schultz, whose professional background includes work with Fortune 300 companies, USAID, U.S. Customs, the Secret Service, FBI and ATF. At the board's meeting Thursday, she plans to push an initiative for a comprehensive new security plan that could include adding police or armed guards to middle and high schools that already have them and also to unprotected elementary schools. Included could be trained military veterans. In addition, she wants the board to consider buying technology that can identify an active shooter on campus and adding emergency preparedness drills. What happens here reverberates around the country, she said of the big and influential school system. Potentially it creates a blueprint for schools across the country. Schultz described her initiative as an active response to the Florida shootings, not a feel-good proclamation. Fellow board member Ryan McElveen plans to introduce a resolution on gun control and mental health funding. Schultz said the time for resolutions is over and she is not wedded to any one solution or even a one-size-fits-all for the county schools. But, she said, it appears that gun control I has sent an answer and that nobody has suggested removing all guns from the nation. Guns aren't going anywhere, she said. The question is, now what she said. Her goal is to bring school officials, law enforcement, students and educators together to map a flexible solution to school security that deals with threats and access. Practicability is key, she said, in noting that trying to squeeze thousands of students many times a day through metal detectors ISNT workable. Below is her proposal to be presented at the board's forum, which occurs before the regular meeting, discuss implementing time-armed presence in all schools, either through additional Fairfax County police officers or licensed armed security, and other safety and security aspects related to student and employee safety in FCPS school and administrative buildings. The board needs to have a comprehensive discussion regarding the safety and security measures deployed in our schools, what current practices are in place at the elementary, middle and high school levels, and discuss the potential of incorporating time-armed presence in all schools, either through additional Fairfax County police officers or licensed armed security. In addition, the board should discuss the potential of acquiring additional technology for identifying active shooters in buildings. Assess existing policies regarding emergency preparedness drills and whether active shooter drills should be incorporated into existing practices. Other additional measures as may be suggested by safety and security personnel, including recommendations for additional safety and security subject matter expertise. Aspects of safety and security which are different for administrative facilities versus school buildings also need to be reviewed and discussed. Follow us on Facebook. Proud sponsor, Destin Charter Fishing from the web powered by Zergnet The disappointing double life of Tim Tebow Navy SEAL who killed Bin Laden gets thrown off plain The truth about the Obama sisters' awkward Olympics wardrobe malfunctions You can't done see why people stopped watching The Big Bang Theory woman who drove Florida shooter to school speaks out